Hello, everybody. It's Rhino here with your Disney News Roundup for the week of June 5th, 2021. And that is right. I am wearing a hat. It has been raining nonstop today. So uh, it's about 1.30 in the morning while I'm recording this and my hair got wet and I don't feel like fixing it. So I apologize. Not a common look for me. But thank you nonetheless for being here for your Disney News Roundup for this week. So uh, before we get started talking about the news, I want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do here at The Jizz Unplugged is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. They are experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation. When you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the channel, the shows, and all the content that we produce here. So uh, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com, you can check them out over there. Now, we've got some news to talk about. Um, it's weird. It's like not a ton of news stories, but there was a ton of things going on this week. It was a, It's a big, a big week because, uh, first off, Avengers Campus, congratulations, you're open. And I am jealous that I'm not out there hanging out uh, in Disney California Adventure, taking all the cool pictures over there. Um, so, hooray. Uh, I hope everyone out there is having a blast experiencing it. And best of luck to all the cast members. Congrats to all the Imagineers and everybody involved in making this. Um, I hope everything goes well. It looks really cool. Um, I can't wait to get out there and see it for myself. Remember, out-of-state visitors will be able to start visiting Disneyland beginning June 15th. That is June 15th, so not not too far uh, from now. And uh, hopefully, my hope is I get out there sometime in July uh, because there are some replica web slingers that have my name all over it. I've got my eyes on them. And I'm not talking about the ones you use in the attraction. I'm talking about whole separate ones. So Lord knows how much money I'm going to spend out there, but uh, I am ready to do some shopping. So if you do want to see some peaks of the land, the rides, the food, any of that sort of stuff, we've got some of that content on our other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash WDW info. That is the uh, Diz YouTube channel where we do a lot of in park content. But um, we've got a couple of like not quite overviews, but just kind of peeks and looks uh, at, at the various things. So check all that out over there. Um, and uh, just a heads up, I'm going to save our Walt Disney World specific news for, for, for the last. So next, we're going to talk about Adventures by Disney. Uh, beginning in May of 2022, families can visit one of America's most scenic destinations with Adventures by Disney where they'll explore the magnificent sights and world-famous flavors of New England, my home. Uh, except you're not going to Massachusetts, so really just going in and you're going, you're going around where I used to live, but that's fine. Uh, the brand new guided vacation to Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine will offer families the chance to discover the historical charm and unique culture of the celebrated region in an eight-day, seven-night adventure. You can read the highlights about all the stuff you're going to see in the, the itineraries, uh, um, which you'll find a link to uh, in this video in the description of this video down down below. Um, one of the stops you're going to make, uh, I notice, is in Stowe, Vermont, which I got to tell you is one of the most beautiful, picturesque, like, uh, towns I have ever been fortunate enough to visit. Uh, I, I was... Uh, yeah, it, it is literally like out of a Hallmark movie or something or like a little tiny Christmas ornament is literally what it looks like. So I, I'm really happy they selected that as one of the destinations in there. Uh, so that that's really cool. But that's not all that's coming to Adventures by Disney because also in 2022, travelers will have another way to experience some of the world's most sought after destinations as Adventures by Disney adds six additional itineraries to its roster of private adventures. Led by a private adventure guide, these trips are designed for a smaller group of travelers travelers and offer flexible booking dates. So the newly introduced private adventures include Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia, um, England and France, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, and Ireland. Um, Bookings for both the new Adventures by Disney New England vacation and the added private adventures open to the public on Friday, June 11th. Uh, 11th. But uh, if you are an Adventures insider who has been on three or more adventures, you can start booking those on June 8th. All Adventure insiders can do that on the 9th. And then on the 10th, uh, the booking opens up to Disney Vacation Club members, Disney Cruise Line, Gold and Platinum members, as well as Golden Oak residents and Club 33 members. It... Um, honestly, that the New England one looks awesome. Like, I would, I would love to be just traveling with friends through that region again. But I obviously have a soft spot in it because you know it's my, 
it's my 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 old stomping ground. But um, we're going to talk about Disney Cruise Line now for a second, okay? So according to an internal letter shared by Thomas Maslum, who is president Disney Signature Experiences, Disney Cruise Line has received approval from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to begin conducting simulated cruises at the end of June. The two-day test cruise on the Disney Dream will depart from Port Canaveral, Florida on June 29th and return on July 1st. This is just for the Disney Dream. Uh, each ship is going to have to be pro- uh, approved individually for these cruises. So, uh, In the letter, Maslam states that the ship will sail with volunteer passengers who will test the newly developed health and safety protocols. The word from Disney Cruise Line is that there is no need for volunteers beyond our current cast member base. So the volunteer passengers, I'm assuming, are cast members who have been asked or various selected people uh, i did have a friend email them and got that letter back that was like thank you for your interest no <laughs> but um maslam stated that disney cruise line would continue to work closely with the cdc and adjust their new protocols as needed if you want to read that entirety of the the letter that was circulating around you can find a link to that in the description of this video as well now the big moment we are going to talk about Walt Disney World. And uh, actually, we got to talk about something that was just announced on Friday, which is that uh, Orange County, Florida Mayor Jerry Demings announced that the local state of emergency is over in Orange County. He said he will lift mask mandates and social distancing rules beginning Saturday, June 5th. So the time of pub- so today uh, at the time of publishing this video earlier this week, the mayor informed residents that the county had managed to stay at a covid positive rate, a positive rate of below 5 percent for 11 days. But moving the county down to phase three would require being at that level for 14 days, which just happened on Friday. Uh, In the mayor's phase plan to start scaling back on COVID health and safety guidelines, he stated that once 70 percent of people ages 16 and over receive their first doses of the COVID vaccine and or Orange County's 14 day rolling positivity rate was at 5 percent or below, he would begin lifting restrictions. I believe that Orange County is pretty close to 70 percent of vaccinated people, too. It's I it's definitely over like 55%. I knew it was like crawling up there now, but it's getting there. But Walt Disney World dropped their outdoor face mask requirement two weeks ago after Orange County reached 50% vaccinated. Face masks are still required to be worn when indoors or upon entering any of the attractions. That is as of recording this. Who knows when that information changes again? But because uh, Universal Orlando Resort dropped its face mask policy for both indoor and outdoors last week. That is for unvaccinated guests. It does it does recommend that if you are excuse me that's for vaccinated guests it does recommend if you're unvaccinated that you wear the face covering when you are indoors so uh as of this post it remains to be seen what disney will do with their face mask restrictions but uh i think it'll i think it's gonna go i think it's they're going to try and push it as long as they can honestly i don't know if it's a business related thing they want to lean on it whatever i'm not I don't work. I don't work for them and I am not a scientist, so I have no idea. For those of you out there who who've got that that dough, uh Disney has announced uh that they're reopening the club level lounges at Walt Disney World. So sales for club level rooms and suites will begin on June 4th, which already passed. I don't know why I'm reading this in the past tense. Um, So let me see here. It says that, so June 4th, that was the Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. That's when that started. And then it looks like the next one is going to be, that's Grand Californian. The next one will be Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. The Royal Palm Club will open September 16th, 2021, or start taking reservations. Disney's Boardwalk Resort will be September 23rd. The Contemporary is the 26th. Wilderness Lodge is the 16th of December. Coronado is also the 16th of December. And like I said, Grand Californian was on the was on June 4th. So each club level lounge will follow physical distancing measures and indoor uh, face covering requirements as as you know whatever they may be at their time. The lounges will continue to provide a personalized experience for guests, including exclusive food and beverage options throughout the day and special Disney touches for all ages. The lounges at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, Polynesian Village Resort, and Yacht and Beach Club will reopen at a later date to be announced. At that point, I don't really... I don't understand why they're not open, to be honest with you. If everything is just like, let's do whatever we want now, it seems like people paying that money should be open but 
it'll be back, I'm sure. They ain't leaving that money on the table. So, uh, let's talk about Halloween because really it's the best time of the year, right? So I want to end on that. As we previously have reported, Mickey's not so scary Halloween party has been replaced with Disney after hours boo bash for the 2021 Halloween season. Walt Disney world has announced the dates that event will take place and the ticket pricing. So this hard ticket event at magic kingdom, which is similar to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party with special character cavalcade snacks, trick or treating and much, much more is going to be uh, a three hour event. And those tickets are going to go on sale June 15th and can be purchased online or by calling calling 407-939-4240. Guests of select Walt Disney World uh, Resort hotels can book their tickets as early as June 8th. That is right around the corner. Tickets start at $129 to $139 plus tax for August, September nights and $159 to $169 plus tax for, tax for October nights and $199 plus tax for Halloween. But hold up. If you are an annual pass holder or a Disney Vacation Club member, you can take advantage of a discount for event nights in August and September of $10. You're welcome. Uh, (laughs) A limited number of tickets are available, of course, uh, and there are a lot of dates. Um, Essentially, the first date is August 10th. That is a Tuesday. And then basically for all of August, and it looks like uh, for all of August, it's going to be like Tuesday, Friday parties, uh, after hours events. Excuse me. We're not supposed to call them parties. Uh, and then it looks like once we get into Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, there's once we, we get to that Halloween week, it looks like there's like a Sunday two Sundays thrown in there. So it's mostly Tuesday, Friday. So consistency. I feel like that's how it was in the, like, like 10 years ago or so when they were, they used to do the, there was like a pirate and princess party they were doing. And there was, so there was like every Tuesday and whatever, there was another, there was a party. So maybe that's what they're kind of going back to. But um, complimentary snacks, ice like ice cream novelties and popcorn. Select beverages are included with the course, uh, the cost of the event, much like they are at the after hours parties. Uh, and trick or treating is going to be offered. I feel like there was a moment where people were like, "Is there candy? There is candy." The details have uh, have confirmed that there was going to be trick or treating. That there is going to be candy. You can wear your costumes. Um, if you want more details uh, about the event and the the goings on and what we know so far, you can visit www info.com for more information of course you can find links to the specific stories about uh additional details with the dates and the ticket pricing uh that is in the description of this video as well uh and that is um that's all i have to say this week i know it's not not nothing like uh kind of crazy oh i i almost i didn't mention it yet because it wasn't it wasn't a story i go through the headlines to read the stories and it wasn't in the headlines but um the uh, Jungle Cruise here had a little update where now the poll with the new characters and the the rhino at the bottom where, where they get the point in the end, that, that poll has been installed at Walt Disney World. So uh, that just that's it. Just a little mention of that. Anyway, just something if you're out in the park, something to look forward to at, at Magic Kingdom. Check that out. So uh, that's going to do it for me. Of course, if you like this video, uh, you can give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There's plenty of other content on here. Not just me rambling in the middle of the night uh, to no one and uh yeah lots of stuff so uh leave some comments below of course like i said you can check out our other youtube channels youtube.com slash wdw info that is where you're going to find that avengers campus stuff we have our disney dining channel uh plenty of youtube channels so be sure to check out all of that stuff as well uh that is going to do it for me i hope that you are all having an amazing week and i will see you next time goodbye everybody